refraction through a prism. A prism is a piece of glass or any other transparent material bounded by two triangular and three rectangular surfaces. One of the rectangular surfaces, BCFE, is called the base of the prism. The other two inclined surfaces, ABED and ACFD, are known as the refracting surfaces. The line along which the refracting surfaces meet is called the refracting edge of the prism. The angle between two refracting surfaces is called the angle of the prism. Any section of the prism perpendicular to the refracting edge is called the principal section of the prism. It was Sir Isaac Newton who first observed that when a beam of white light or sunlight is refracted by a glass prism, it splits into seven different colors. This shows that white light is composed of seven different colors, namely red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. This phenomenon by which a ray of light splits into its constituent colors when passed through a transparent medium is known as dispersion. The band of colors obtained due to the dispersion of light is called the spectrum. This visible spectrum has wavelengths ranging from 0.4 microns to 0.7 microns. Red light has a longer wavelength than violet light. Let us now trace the path of light through a prism. Place a prism on a white sheet of paper with a triangular face on the sheet and trace its boundary A, B, C. Fix two pins, T and S, on one side. Place the prism on the boundary A, B, C. Looking through the other side, fix two more pins, Q and R, in such a way that all the four pins appear to be in the same line. Remove the pins and mark their positions. Join TS and RQ and extend them to meet the faces of the prism at P and O respectively. Join PO. TP represents the incident ray. PO represents the refracted ray and OR represents the emergent ray which is bent towards the base. Let PN and ON be the normal at the points P and O respectively. And let I be the angle of incidence and R the angle of refraction. If the incident ray TP is extended forward and the emergent ray RO backwards, they meet at M, forming the angle O M L. Measure the angle O M L. This angle is called the angle of deviation. Angle of deviation is the angle through which an incident ray deviates. Repeat this for different values of angle of incidence. Here is an interactive exercise on dispersion. Explore and learn. The emergent ray always bends towards the base of the prism for all values of angle of incidence. When angle of incidence is increased gradually, angle of deviation decreases. For a certain angle of incidence, the refracted ray through the prism is found to be parallel to the base of the prism. 
The corresponding angle is called the angle of minimum deviation. A rainbow is an optical phenomenon that causes a nearly continuous spectrum of light to appear in the sky when the sun shines onto droplets of moisture in the Earth's atmosphere. It takes the form of a multicolored arc, with red on the outside and violet on the inside. Drops of moisture in the atmosphere act as prisms and disperse the sunlight into its component colors. The dispersed light, on being totally internally reflected by the opposite surface of the droplet of water, gives rise to rainbow. Note that a rainbow is seen only when the sun is behind the observer. Occasionally, secondary rainbow is seen outside the primary bow. Secondary rainbows are caused by double reflection of sunlight inside the raindrops. As a result of the second reflection, the colors of a secondary rainbow are inverted compared to the primary bow.